For by one offering he hath perfected for every of them that are sanctified, whereof the Holy Ghost also is a witness to us. For after that he had said before, This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my law into their hearts, and in their minds will I write them, and their sins and iniquities I will remember no more. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? How shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be seen? And as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel for Isaiah said, Lord, who hath believed our report? So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I believe that God sent you into my life to give me something to fight for, to show me there is love in this world, to give me hope and to bring me joy. All the proof in God I need is in you. You are a gift from the heavens. Faith has set us on a journey. I said faith has set us on a journey. When death got you by the balls, but you got to turn up one last time, what are you going to do? I didn't know my own strength until I got a memo from God that said, Daughter, you were not built to break. That said, Son, you were not built to break. That said, Every one of you, you were not built to break. The fear of death follows from the fear of life. A man who lives fully is prepared to die at any time. Let me repeat that for you. The fear of death follows from the fear of life. A man who lives fully is prepared to die at any time. The best is yet to come. I said the best is yet. Remember, we don't worship the Lord on Sundays only. We worship Him every day. I say, remember, we don't worship the Lord on Sundays only. We worship Him every day. If Christians believe in heaven, then why is it till death do us? Saying that you don't have time to improve your thoughts in your life is like saying you don't have time to stop for gas because you're too busy driving. Eventually, it will catch up with you. I wish you could see yourself in my eyes. Say it before you run out of time. Say it before it's too late. Say what you're feeling. Waiting is a mistake. Listen closely. The only time it's too late to change yourself is when you're dead. Until then, you're simply making excuses or lying to yourself. We'll all die. The goal isn't to live forever. The goal is to create something that will. I have the power to change my story. You have the power to change your story. We all have the power to change our stories thanks to the good grace of the Lord God Almighty. It's never too late to make things right. I said it's never too late to make things right. One more time for you, those of you that didn't hear me. I said it's never too late to make things right. If we remembered every day that we could lose someone at any moment, we would love them more fiercely and freely and without fear, not because there is nothing to lose, but because everything 
can always be lost. It's never too late unless you're already dead. Let me repeat that. It's never too late unless you're already dead. In the blink of an eye, everything can change. So forgive often and love with all your heart. You may never know when you may not have that chance again. It's never too late to be what you might have been. I said it's never too late to be what you might have been. It's never too late to change your life. It's never too late. I said it's never too late. It's never too late. Death is a beautiful gift for a believer. For God is perfect timing, never early, never late. It takes a little patience and a whole lot of faith, but it's always worth the wait. My life may not be going the way I planned it. But it is going exactly the way God planned it. Think about these things. Things that are pure and holy and of good report. Things that come from only the Bible and the Lord from within. Think on these things. And that's what you will become and what you will believe. God does not hate you. I repeat, God does not hate you. First Peter 2 and 4, Jesus was rejected indeed by men, but chosen by God. The rejection of man is meaningless if God's favor is upon you. Look. Never gives up. First Corinthians 13, 4 through 7. But read the whole chapter of 1 Corinthians in chapter 13. It's all about love. Everyone who does evil hates the light. John 3 and 20. Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who persecute you. Pray for those who spitefully use you. I said love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. And pray for those who mistreat you. Though he brings grief, he also shows compassion because of the greatness of his unfailing love. Let me repeat that. His unfailing love. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Satan hates your light because you shine and he does not. He also knows that you are a very effective witness for Jesus and that just makes him want to destroy you all the more. But he cannot because he has no power or authority over you. You belong to Jesus and no devil can harm you. A haughty look, a proud heart. Proverbs 21 and 4 speak of this. The tactics of the devil. Oh, the tactics of the devil. God stills you. 
Satan rushes you. God reassures you. Satan frightens you. God leads you. Satan pushes you. God enlightens you. Satan confuses you. God forgives you. Satan condemns you. God calms you. Satan stresses you. God encourages you. Satan discourages you. God comforts you. Satan worries you. A rage of demons. In Ephesians chapter 6, it talks about just this. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and the powers and the rulers of darkness of this world. And we have to ask, why does God hate me? Well, let me tell you. God found Gideon in a hole. He found Joseph in a prison. He found Daniel in a lion's den. He has a curious habit of showing up in the midst of trouble, not the absence. Where the world sees failure, God sees future. Next time you feel unqualified to be used by God, remember this. He tends to recruit from the pit, not the pedestal. I survived my darkest hour. My faith kept me alive. I picked myself back up, held my head up high. I was not built to break. I just didn't know my own strength. I said I was not built to break. I just did not know my own strength. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on to your own understandings. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He will make your path straight. I didn't know my own strength until I got a memo from God that said, daughter, you were not built to break. Son, you were not built to break. I'm speaking to every one of you out there. You were not built to break. Jesus hung on that cross. He took all your mistakes, all your failures, all your weaknesses, and he forgave them. Serve him in truth with all your heart and consider what great things he has done for you. 1 Samuel 12 and 24. I know that my Redeemer lives. And that in the end he will stand on the earth And after my skin has been destroyed Yet in my flesh I will see God I myself will see him with mine own eyes I am not another How my heart yearns within me Job 19, 25-27 Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever Psalms 23 and 6, always of the KJV. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. James 1, 19 and 20, always of the KJV. Words kill. Words give life. They're either poison or fruit. You choose. Proverbs 18 and 21. God sees beyond who you are to who you can become. I said God sees beyond who you are to who you can become. Let me repeat that one more time. God sees beyond who you are to who you can become. Obey God and leave all the consequences to Him. Cast all your cares on the Lord and He will sustain you. Psalms 55 and 22. Turn your worry into worship, then watch God turn your battles into blessings. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? If the Lord is your light 
and your salvation. Whom shall you fear? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? If the Lord is your light and your salvation, whom shall you fear? Always put your hope in God. I said, always put your hope in God. One thing I've desired of the Lord that will I seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Psalms 27 and 4, KJV. Call on the Lord in my distress and he answers. Commit your path to God knowing that if he cares for the sparrows, he will care for you. You don't have to have the whole road map ahead of time as long as you trust that God does. He assures you, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29 and 11. If only I may finish my course and the ministry that I received from the Lord Jesus to testify to the gospel of the grace of God. Acts 20 and 24. God is on your side. I said God is on your side. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I will not be shaken. As for God, his way is perfect. The Lord's word is flawless. He shields all who take refuge in him. Psalms 18 and 30. Let God's word wash over you. Ephesians 5, 25 and 20 devil says, they're all mine. Jesus responds, over my dead body. Prayer isn't to remind God what your problems are. Prayer is to remind your problems who God is. Give God your problems and allow him to give you the solution. The Lord my God lights up my darkness. If only I may finish my course in the ministry that I received from the Lord Jesus to testify to the gospel of the grace of God. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him. Romans 15 and 13. In peace I will lay down and sleep, for you, O oh Lord, will keep me safe. I will choose to find joy in the journey that God has set before me. I said I will choose to find joy in the journey that God has set before me. I said. I will choose to find joy in the journey that God has set before me. I will choose to find joy in the journey that God has set before me. And fellow Christians, brothers and sisters alike, I encourage you to find joy in the journey that God has set before you as well.